Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here on my YouTube talking about emotional regulation and shadow work and so, so much more. And for this video, we are going to get right on in our feels because I have been in my feels so much lately. It's ridiculous, but just before we kind of jump into that, don't mind me, I'm feeding my baby and I'm covering her up because we are in the sun. I feel like I can't not sit in the sunshine to film. You know, I didn't feel like doing makeup. I haven't felt like that all week. I've been planning to film all week and I'm finally sitting down to do it, but I need to cover her because obviously I don't want her to get sunstroke or anything like that. So yeah if i end up having to cut out and come back to this it's because i'm feeding her and i'm hoping that she'll just drift off to sleep but this is kind of what i want to talk about is juggling mum life with music artist life and like running a business making crystal jewelry and filming youtube videos and all of the things that i do it's a lot and i feel like even though okay let's let's kind of rewind so I didn't plan to get pregnant and me and my partner decided to obviously keep the baby and have the baby and I'm so so glad that I did because she's changed my life in every way possible and just like ugh, I don't even want to get into it because we're going to get emotional but at the same time when I'm still trying to be my own individual person and like create all of the things that I love and all of that, it gets overwhelming to balance it all. And then on top of that, trying to manage my household, like doing the housework and trying to take care of my body and like self-care and do skincare routines and like, you know, juggle relationships and food and meal preps and all of this stuff like it's just a lot and I feel like I've just been initiated into a real adulthood to be honest I feel like I didn't really like I didn't really have as many responsibilities until having a child and now all of a sudden I don't know how to juggle it all because before having her I used to feel like I had no time to do everything and like I would want to create music and stuff and I would feel like I didn't have any time to fit it into my day and now I'm like ah, you had all the fucking time in the world you could have done it at any point and you felt like you didn't have time and now you've got her now I realise oh shit now I don't have time <laughs> or at least I do but it's just small windows and I think what I'm starting to realise now the actual issue is the resistance to it it's like i'm trying to um, resist the change or like i'm not angry at the change but i'm just like struggling to adjust to the huge change of having a baby to be honest because so much of your life kind of changes with it in terms of like your daily lifestyle where she has to come first and I'm so used to being able to do whatever I want even though I thought I didn't have time to do anything before <laughs> but like I'm so used to being able to do whatever I want that now I can't I just kind of get more mad at myself and I have definitely filmed videos before on self-punishment and also self-punishment that's discipline as well because that's something that I really struggle with and I'm just noticing now that I've had her that like it's got worse so yeah having a child definitely brings up all of the wounds and I'm having to try and address them all but again a self-punishment wound is not really the easiest one to deal with because when something comes up you tend to kind of self-punish again and it can just get worse and worse and then you fall into depression and sadness and misery so I'm trying to just sit here chit chat about one of the feels and like be my own therapist for a minute and just try and like process this because otherwise it's going to spiral and I've been feeling it for quite a while to be honest and I just haven't really known how to address it because I just think sometimes when you get into such negative thought patterns it can be so hard to take any sort of step or to even know what kind of step to take to actually pull yourself out of it do you know what I mean? and that's just how I've been feeling and yeah it's kind of getting more and more negative to be honest and I find myself complaining a lot and like complaining to my partner then and I don't want to be that type of person but also being a stay-at-home mum trying to run a business and trying to make sure that your house looks 
good and not only looks good but for me like housework is important because a cluttered environment stresses me out like it makes me feel miserable i like to have a nice space for my mood so like it's not just about trying to get validation or like trying to be the perfect person with the perfect time or anything like that it's more like for my own sanity i want my clothes not to be splattered everywhere do you know what i mean like i need them to be in their neat little place and trying to keep on top of all of that when looking after a baby is not the easiest thing whatsoever so yeah i think it's really calling for a lot of acceptance of like this is the season i'm in she's two months old she's not going to be two months old forever and just like rolling with the season and allowing myself to be messy and chaotic and not perfect with it but it's still very very hard i'm still resisting it and i don't know if anyone else can relate to this if you've got kids or even if you're just struggling with this type of thing without children because i definitely struggled with it before and i thought it was bad before and now it's just like a whole other level of difficult and police going gloves or something. But yeah, we're just juggling things, trying to figure it out. And I'm noticing that the like phrases I use can be negative sometimes. And I never really thought that I was that person before, but now it's just getting worse. Like I'll say sentences and then I'm like, hold on a second. I'm literally speaking so negatively right now. Like how is this even? developed into that type of pattern so yeah motherhood definitely calls for a lot of shadow work a lot of integration and i think i've been kind of resisting that to be honest i've just because you get so caught up in the day-to-day -day of like having to take care of somebody look after their needs make sure that they're all good you know especially while breastfeeding too it can be a lot so i'm not really taking much time for myself and that's just sparked the realization like oh oh we need to kind of switch up our priorities here and actually allow ourselves to grieve the old lifestyle and to celebrate the new in the new chapter. Are you okay, babe? Are you okay? Are you not wanting to be under the blanket? <laughs> oh, baby. But yeah, I won't sit here too long because it's quite hot to have a blanket over here, <laughs> my poor little baby girl. But I just didn't want her to burn. But yeah, if you're dealing with this, definitely message me on WhatsApp or on Telegram if you want somebody to chat to because, you know, sometimes you just need to sit on camera and let all of your thoughts out. And if you don't have that option, you can definitely message me because I would love to chat about this further because there's just so much I could say and so much that I'm dealing with myself, you know? And we're building a community around here, so all information about me is in the description box below. I really hope you're doing okay and you have the best week. Bye. Yeah, definitely time to go. <laughs> but I really hope you're having the best week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Tell your mommy forward. Tell them that you're all my.